There we go. Okay. Long strokes. Long strokes. Nice big long strokes. There you go. Can I take some from there? I got two sure. down there. No, don't worry about it. But longer strokes. So it looks that's better. <laughs> You're next, Jane. You better take off your coat. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Next. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. Anywhere you like. You can even go around the other side if you'd rather. Watch you can reach. Okay. Too much? Nope. Whoops. There's no wrong with this. You just keep going and just keep working in there. If it's not what you want, just keep working at it. So that's too thick. Right? Well, that's too thicker than, than the other. A little tip. Once you once you've dipped into the paint, this is the most paint you're ever gonna have at any one time. It's right here, right? Mm -hmm. So don't start start like this. Okay. So it doesn't come off. If so you much. if you do this, you're gonna get mm -hmm. a sudden stop wow. start. But if you if you lay your brush down, you're gonna be on more on the sides of the bristles. And hardly touching, hardly touching at all. You can always, it's safer to do that and just keep working it until it's as thick as you want it, rather than do it too thick and go, shit, now what? Right? Yeah, so I just okay. ruined that bit for you. No, no I, I, don't, I like that contrast. Changes. I don't mind that either. It does. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, I like, it's like the old piece that wasn't yeah. worn. And you notice I left that knob on on purpose because mm -hmm. you know what happens, you don't paint around it because you can't get in there. Right. So it looks naturally worn, which is where it would wear around the... On the side? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Just down. Uh... I just want to see. Okay. Stop for a sec. When you... I just want to see. Oh, that's looking cool, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice colors. Okay. All right, carry on. So this is a prime example of what you told me not to do, right? That's okay. No, I don't mind that at all. Don't yeah. undo oh. it. So do you want the insides done? Or shall I do yeah, it? a little bit. Go for it. I can't get it kind of flat. Mm -hmm. You can't get it perfect. And we said to do it in a flat. I am so Oh, the brush. Yeah. Yeah. You get used you know, to that. Really you know, that yeah. I Think about it often so. enough. For the drop in, you just bring your piece of furniture or whatever it is that you want to do. Yep. And then will you supply the brushes yep. and then we'll buy the paint kind yep. of thing? Okay. Exactly. And we have lots of little things that you might want to add to your piece that we don't expect you to buy. Just want a little bit of this or that, or mm -hmm. do an image try to trade them. Is there a certain day that you do your drop-ins? Sundays. Oh, Sundays. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All day, or? Uh, yeah. Have I done my thing now? Yep. Okay. <laughs> you just have to sign up ahead of time, because we can yeah. only take six back oh, here. Okay. okay. Right. I'm going to try a little bit of water in this in the next step. Let me just see if I can get a, a like light touch. Yeah. I get the more colors you put on, would you want a thinner paint? Um, like if you were putting... Okay. You can do it that way. Then you're just like layers of washes. But if you're doing it with paint that is like this, covering quite well, then you see how there's less paint covering over the yellow there. Mm -hmm. So that yellow is showing through more. So you can control it by just using less paint. But again, I'm hardly touching it. You see that? The bristles are kind of <coughs> bending. It is. But it's it's also blending the paint in. You see that? 
that it just moves ever so subtly, but it is just sort of flowing into all those little, so it doesn't look like it's just scritchy scratched all over the place. It blends and more pressure now because there's nothing left on the brush. Mm -hmm. So it's just moving it's whatever is wet yeah. a little bit. It's nice. See how nice that looks? Yeah. And that it's kind of thing is, is really pretty. Yeah, that is yeah. But how much faster this is, hey? Mm -hmm. Than tedious base holding. But it's a lot faster than what you were doing last night. You were saying. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Did you buy some product today? Yeah, that's but so I didn't want to keep going until yeah. I learned. Yeah, just, learn those two yeah. Years, just you know, to blend. Because I would just paint it. Okay. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah. Not yeah. that. So. Mm -hmm. Well, now you have a base paint. That's right. That's right. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Just in our old uh, bathroom cabinet. It's really old, like 25 year old. Well, well I missed it. Not about a weight on it. I'm wondering. Put a this is hung high on the wall, so I know I'm going to see that. Maybe doing that. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Let's try it. And Dennis, we wanted a uh, satin varnish, and we only have a gallon. Do you want me to talk to the Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Great. Ooh, that's nice too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I, like mm -hmm. I just had a little bit of yellow left over in my brush, and I come back and oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. blended it a bit. Okay. It's softer when you do it that way. Yeah, it's not it as is. Constant. It's not as yeah. streaky, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have to do this side, don't we? Yeah. Okay, come, somebody come try and wipe. What did, why did you say you left the knob on purpose? Mm -hmm. So that this doesn't get painted as heavily as you, you can. That's where the paint always wears off, or you're pulling yeah. it off. Wow. Keep your brush horizontal. That's vertical. Horizontal Almost flat. Oh, yeah, but there I... There you go. Okay. I see what you're doing. There you go. I do not brushing when you're up there. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Now you got it. Nice straight stroke, too. Look at that. Whew. What was the yellow called? This is tamarind. Tamarind. Oh, it's not on there. Tamarind. Yeah, yeah it is. could be Tuscan, too. Sunflowers again. <laughs> okay, I think we want a little more coverage. So I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just. I'd rather go slow myself. Yeah. Oh, than smart move. Than find myself going. Oh no, I can't go back. Well, yeah, I because if you try taking it off, it doesn't look the same because it all mushes together and it, it ends up like a fog rather than back to wood. So you just try not to have to take it off. It's much easier to put it on. Now you're getting there. Close it up a titch more. I'm sorry? Close. Close it up means lose a lot of the background or the background. Funny how the white feels so much different than the yellow, like it, as in applying it, you know? Yeah. Well, it could be a little thinner. I think it is. Maybe. It is. This one's really thick. This would work well with, like, you know, the wood we did. Uh, yes, it would. Because of the texture. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anybody else want to take over my? Start. <laughs> that, no, that that side is that side's good. I think it's done. Oh, while you're there, you want to get that edge? Which one? This edge. Oh, okay. Lengthwise. Yeah. Now, what happens if you forget something like that, and then you built up a bit of a solid ridge? Can you? You can take a damp cloth and just rub it right off. Okay. Or sand it off when if it's dry already. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Too much fun, eh? Mm -hmm. I think I can close it up, but it's not touching. No, really. No. Okay, there we are. Anybody else want to have a go? This is 
is my biggest problem. I wear it too. And I just touched it. Yeah. Oh, no, it's okay. When you get it in Yes. Yeah, it's at home, my husband does all the painting because I usually have it up to here within the first hour. I'm like, oh, no. It's just a messy painter. I wallpaper better. <laughs> There. So you can buy it by the gallon? Yep. Or you can buy it by the eight ounce or the quart. And it, it goes a long way. It really does. But there are so many different techniques, finishes you can end up with using the same product, you know, and We've got glazes which you can put over this to tone it down, antique it, change colors. I mean, it's just. How do you protect phenomenal. that now? Like, is it a wax or is it a ferrothane, urethane? It can be either of those. Wax. The wax isn't really. Well, we have beeswax, mm -hmm. but generally people use the acrylic wax, which is much more durable. Mm -hmm. You don't have to redo it, it has no beeswax in it. I don't know why they call it wax. Like no, I'd rather not polish. <laughs> no, you don't want to polish. And ours, you don't have to polish it at all. And it's really quite durable. It smells nice though, right? Beeswax. Uh, the beeswax is wonderful. But it isn't durable and it has to be reapplied. I would use that on surfaces that need to be food safe or baby chew proof or safe stuff like that but if you need something to like this I would just hang it on the wall and every six years or so we'll dust it you Didn't know you with some Windex oh I use our acrylic wax right. and then I can squirt Windex on it and clean it Windex. That's really? Windex. Oh, oh yeah, Windex. sorry. Oh, that's, that's my favorite cleaner. Windex. What's your favorite cleaner? Her husband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smart one. Good one. Did you say you couldn't paint over beeswax too? You can't paint over beeswax. No. no. If you wanted to paint over beeswax, you have to get beeswax off. No. Because nothing sticks to that.